up? It's Dina here. Welcome back to my channel. So it's time for another monthly favorites video and for the month of January, I have prepared five of my favorite things to recommend to you guys as always. So I have all their details listed out in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. Uh, as always, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, let's get started. So my first favorite book of the month is Capture Your Style by Ami Song, uh, who goes by the name Son of Style on her blog as well as her Instagram and YouTube channel. So if you haven't heard about Son of Style or Ami Song, she is a very successful blogger in the fashion industry and she's been, you know, well known for years and I have been such a fan of hers for I think at least five years. I don't know, I, I haven't been keeping track, but um, she's been such an inspiration, definitely one of my favorite bloggers out there. So basically, Ami initially started working in the interior design industry, and then she started her own blog and Instagram account, um, and her outfit photos became really popular. So slowly, she grew that into her own business and gained I think like 8 million followers right now on her Instagram account and you know millions of website visits on her blog each month. She's been featured on Fortune Magazine for 30 under 30. She's become very successful at running her own business and uh, definitely become a you know figure and uh, voice in the fashion industry for sure. Um, in her book, uh, this book has been out for a long time. I don't know why I haven't read it earlier but it's definitely you know better late than never. Um, she talked about basically just how she grew her Instagram account from you know very few followers to now 8 million and um, how, t how to take like beautiful shots, photos, how to you know match your outfit with your background as well as how to grow your audience, how to curate your content on your Instagram account and uh, it's just it's filled with tips and tricks. I feel like this is a very helpful tool and book if you are looking to grow your audience on Instagram and social network. So I definitely want to recommend this book and I want to give Ami a shout out because I love her and uh, I've been talking about her in many of my previous videos as well. So uh, yeah, go Ami! So my second favorite book of the month is the new autobiography by Maria Sharapova. It's called Unstoppable. First of all, I'm a huge fan of Maria Sharapova. She's such a great tennis player as well as a, a huge inspiration to many, many of us. So in this book, Maria Sharapova talked about you know her own life, how her career transpired from when she was like really small up until this point. It gives us a very interesting perspective and account into her life. And man, this book is so inspirational. Like the title of the book really captures the essence of the book because her dad and herself are literally unstoppable no matter what kind of difficulty or you know challenges that they faced in their life they were able to conquer them all and just literally nothing could stop them like they went through a ton of hardship it's pretty crazy moving from Russia to the US getting visas you know having to separate from their mom because of visa issues and, and living in a foreign country having to you know her dad having to work learn a new language and support her her school as well as you know their living costs um, Maria had to you know prove herself with an older age group where she played you know they were running out of money they literally almost had to sleep on the streets and they had to live under someone else's roof for a period of time getting kicked out of school because of money and all that stuff it's it's a lot of challenges that they had to face like the stuff that they had to deal with were bad but they were so determined to make it work so yes she is a prodigy she's really good at playing tennis from a very small age but what made her world number one what made her so successful in the end is like her and her dad's determination and perseverance to conquer every difficulty in front of them and just aim for the highest goal. And I think it's that kind of work ethic that could really get one to the top. I mean, this book is such an inspiration. It's like so motivating to read that I feel like I want to conquer the world after reading it. So definitely recommend it to all of you out there who's interested in you know learning more about her life from her own perspective. And I'm pretty sure you'll really enjoy this book. 
All right, next we're gonna talk about my favorite beauty products for the month of January. So the first beauty item I wanna recommend is from Caudalie. It's their Radiant Essence. The bottle is like this. So um, I have become a fan of Caudalie after I bought their Beauty Elixir, which I talked about in a previous monthly favorite video. Um, I love Caudalie because of their ingredients. They use a lot of grape seed extracts and a lot of you know natural ingredients without all the harmful chemical stuff. This is a brand that uses good ingredients without adding a premium price on top. So uh, I feel like all of their products are worth trying. I got this on an in-flight purchase. What it's supposed to do is to you know lighten up your skin and uh, make your dark spots go lighter as well as you know correct just basically correct the uneven tone on your face and uh, that's like exactly what I was looking for. So after using this for I think at least two to three months I am almost one bottle down and I think I can confidently say that this definitely helped to brighter my skin and make my dark spots go lighter. So I feel like this has worked very well on my skin, which is why I want to recommend it to you guys. And uh, if you want to check out what's it like inside, basically it's um, a very light serum that has like a milky color and I use it every morning. I use like three to four drops. So I basically just pat it all over my face and it absorbs very quickly, which is another thing I like about this serum. So uh, give it a try. Let me know if it works on your face as well. All right, so the next beauty item I want to recommend is actually the uh, finishing powder by Innisfree. It is their No Sebum Mineral Packs with Jeju Natural Mineral and Natural Originated Mint. Um, I have been using this for a long time actually. Uh, it's this is like my third one so you can see how much I use it so if we open it up it's basically just like all the other finishing powder it has like a white color to it but it's supposed to be translucent but I personally find it to be a little bit on the lighter side it give, does give you a, a whiter tone after applying so it's perfect for those who have pale skin or who wants to use a lighter foundation color but for those of you who are more tan and who don't want a lighter color on your face this you might want to be careful with this i really love this product for a few reasons first of all it's very cheap i mean it's like under 10 us dollars so it's not like a big investment and it's do last for a long time. But at the same time, it contains a lot of good ingredients, so it does work well with my sensitive skin. Um, second of all, I think it's very effective. So what I do is that I actually use a lot of it on my face. I pat a lot of it for it to like bake and set. Um, and while I let it set, I do other parts of my makeup, like my eyes and stuff. And then in the end, I use like a big finishing brush to brush off the excess. So uh, the rest that are absorbed to my face will stay on my face for usually the rest of the day so they do last for a long time and I don't really need to reapply it unless it's like a really long day. In general this absorbs you know excess oil and stuff very well so your face stay pretty matte throughout the day. I've gotten both their press powder as well as the loose powder which is the same product except it's just in loose powder form. Um, and between the two, I definitely recommend this one over the other because it's so much easier to apply this one evenly on your face with the pads that came with it. Whereas the other one, the loose powder, you have to kind of use extra tools uh, to apply it evenly. You kind of have to have a brush with you and then um, it's a lot of excess powder that goes everywhere. It's just like really messy. And with the pad that came with it, it wasn't really effective in applying it evenly on your face. So um, I don't really like that one and I would recommend this over that one any day. It's also easier on the go if you carry it with you and if you want to do touch up during the day, it's easier with this uh, packaging. Uh, so go for the pressed powder, give it a try, it's not a huge investment, see if you like it, and uh, let me know.
All right, the last favorite item I wanna recommend for the months of January is actually my newly purchased Solomon hiking shoes. So I've gone on quite a few hikes uh, in Hong Kong recently, which is why I decided to purchase a pair of professional hiking shoes because it's just like the smart thing to do. And a friend of mine actually recommended this brand because um, this is a really good brand that specializes in outdoor activities, especially hiking, and I did see a lot of hikers wearing Solomon hiking shoes. So um, I decided to get a pair myself. And I ended up purchasing the higher ankled one because I feel like it's just more versatile. I could use it both in the summer as well as in the winter in a snowy condition. So I've hiked in this pair for a few times and I feel like this is a good purchase uh, for a few reasons. First of all, it's got a really good grip, which is, you know, the number one thing that you want from a pair of hiking shoes. Uh, second of all, these shoes are, despite their size, they're actually very light um, and they breathe well as well. So even after a few hours of intense hiking or walking, you don't feel discomfort with your feet. You don't feel like your feet are heavy or the shoes are heavy. Um, and uh, that's, I think, a very important feature for me. I feel like if the shoes are too heavy and they're like hard to maneuver, no matter how good the grips are, I just, I would end up getting annoyed by them. Um, so this pair is good. It's also got a very soft material. So I do feel like it's really comfortable to wear. Um, also it protects my foot pretty well. I feel like my ankles are protected well. So yeah, if you are, you know, looking to purchase hiking gears, I would recommend looking to Solomon Shoes. They are pretty awesome. Alright guys, that was my January favorites video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you think as well in the comments box below. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!